Well, you probably grew up going to Worlds of Fun, but if you've never experienced Winterfest, now is the time to go. And don't forget to savor the flavors of this seasonal festival. Here's some favorite eats and treats. Riding those Winterfest rides really works up an appetite, so they have harnessed all the colors of Christmas into one menu. And this one, it's sort of a doppelganger of a Christmas tree. It, it is, and that's the intent. It's Christmas tree chicken and waffles. On top, it's got a maple syrup with bacon, and there's a, there's a chicken tender underneath, and uh, some green powdered sugar. Sounds like heaven. And what is inside that maple syrup, if I'm picking it up correctly? Bacon. Bacon in the syrup. That is delicious. Now, what is this? It, it looks like a Christmas, like Christmas has exploded all over a pile of donuts. That's the idea. It, <laughs> it, these are donut nachos. So we got some donuts and there's some chocolate caramel, a little bit of strawberry, there's M&Ms and white chocolate chips, and you, you get something different with every bite and you kind of use the donut as your chip. Okay, well, we're definitely coming back for that. I don't know how you think up all this stuff year after year, but I'm also getting a sense of another dessert that I may want to order up. That is caramel fried cheesecake. On the inside is a dulce de leche caramel cheesecake, mm -hmm. uh, and it's Perfect. fried crispy, and uh, you see it's got a little bit of whipped cream and then red and green crystal sugar. So does the word dulce, does that double for delicious? Of course. Okay. Okay. And then what's in front? Because I'm seeing that green sauce that really is just flying off of the plate. Yeah, so that's our that's our pot roast sandwich. This is the third year we've done it. It's very popular. The sauce that you're seeing is our Grinch sauce. We we know that there's a lot of items around the park that Grinch sauce. Yeah. Grinch sauce, guys. Yep. Yeah. So we, we also serve a reindeer sauce. So when you whenever you order pot roast or a bunch of different items around the park, you get a Grinch sauce or a, a reindeer sauce and sometimes both. Okay, I think I'm just gonna get a side order of the Grinch sauce sometime. You're welcome to. Okay, and then our last dish, it looks like something chicken. These are chicken parmesan fries. So that's chicken Ooh. fries with our house-made marinara, a little bit of fresh basil, ricotta cheese, and parmesan cheese. And it's it's a it's a walking around snackable version of a chicken parmesan in all the colors of Christmas. Okay, well, Chef Wesley, we're just gonna take this one to go because it looks so good. Enjoy. Well, and if you're wondering, all aspects of Worlds of Fun are open. That includes about 30 rides and they're running a variety of holiday shows. In just a bit, we'll take a look at a very special activity with Mrs. Claus herself. So Santa is busy this time of year, but so is Mrs. Claus. We stopped by her workshop at Worlds of Fun's Winterfest to get a lesson on cookie decorating. What's the best part about your job? Because I know families come in here, little kids, and they learn to decorate cookies. I'd say the best part, it's all wonderful, but I'd say the best part is that this is the third year that Santa and I have been here at Winterfest. So we've become part of people's family traditions and memories of the holidays. So I get to see the same children, the same families, and, and make new friends each year as well. It's just, it keeps the joy of the holidays in my heart to see them here decorating cookies and enjoying each other's company. You are doing a really fun activity over there. I would love to get in on that sure. action. Sure, yeah. Uh, you could just take whatever color you want and you fill in part or all of your cookie. I'll do the top of the snowman okay. here because again, snowmen don't have to be white in Mrs. Claus's kitchen. You can make them whatever color you want to mm -hmm. make them. Spread it out a little bit. And then you can take another color and just make some lines, draw some lines a little ways apart from each other. Mm -hmm. And then you take your knife and just draw a little line straight through it. It kind of makes it look almost like stained glass, like a marbling effect. How beautiful is that? Yeah, super easy. Now, I don't know but if it's going to work with mine exactly because, uh, you know, the white and the yellow were a little bit close together in it color. It looks beautiful. But I can see that, that kind of gives a nice little wave. Absolutely. But I think you have the key where you did the contrasting colors. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and add some little balls here, and I kind of just piped the outside, but that way my snowman actually has like little snowballs on the I, bottom part. So that we'll looks see beautiful. That looks. Well, they're going to slide off just a little bit, but you know, that has to be part of the fun, getting a little messy and it's not at home so you don't have to clean up. Oh. It's true, and the kids especially like all of the sprinkles taste like sugar except for these tiny little candy canes. They actually Ooh. taste like candy canes. Wow. So I always make sure and tell the little ones, not everybody likes peppermint, so you don't want to dump a bunch of those on there if you're not a peppermint lover. Also, kind of a tradition here that Santa tells all the kids when they see him up at the front of the park to ask Mrs. Claus to send him cookies each night. Aww. So I spend a lot of time explaining to the kids that Santa gets plenty of cookies on Christmas Eve 
no cookies here at Winterfest. He's got to save room for Christmas Eve. Oh, well, okay. I guess then we, that means we can save this one and keep it. Absolutely. Well, Mrs. Claus assures us that the cookies you'll be decorating at Winterfest are much larger. She just didn't want to give me too much sugar on a work day. In just a bit, we're going to visit Jack Frost Village. Welcome back. So let's say that you think things are getting a little too cold at Winterfest. Worlds of Fun has the answer for you that will transform your experience. After a little bit of ice skating, step into Jack Frost Village. Welcome to Jack Frost Igloo Village. This is our second year having these uh, awesome little cozy, they're almost like uh, cabanas. Uh, they fit up to eight. Uh, great place, kind of serves as your home, fa home base as you're enjoying the festivities during Winterfest. Chris, this feels like I'm inside of a snow globe, like all of these beautifully decorated pillows, some luxurious blankets. Yeah, it's cozy and uh, we definitely, we have the heater here. And it's kicking. Got it decked out. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely warm. It comes with hot chocolate. Um, you know, it's just a great spot for families to warm up during their outing of Winterfest. So this is one way to make Winterfest memories, but for somebody who maybe has just come to Worlds of Fun, why would we want to show up to Winterfest? I mean, we have over 5 million lights. It's the largest collection in Kansas City of lights and decor, miles of decor, 10 themed areas. We have seven original shows. It's our largest live entertainment billing of the season. We have 12 family activities like Mrs. Claus's cookie decorating. We have ice skating, horse carriage rides through the lights. It's really cool. Um, I mean, it's just the ultimate holiday celebration. It is just full of Christmas, full of joy. Uh, it's amazing. It's my favorite time of the year for sure. Okay, and whenever I see that Winterfest sign just glowing, it really does take you to a special place. All those warm memories maybe you have from growing up, coming here. Yes, absolutely. I mean, that's what the holidays are all about. And uh, we try to really capture that in this event. And I'm really proud of like, how we're able to do it in such a such an amazing way. People have come out here, they've been amazed. I think really just at the level and the skill that we go through, uh, mm -hmm. I mean, it, the park is uh, completely Christmas and holiday themed. It's really, really cool to see. Okay, and one big question, right? Are all the rides running? And how many roller coasters are running? This event's more about the live entertainment, kind of the, uh, the activities, but we do have up to 30 select rides opening. Um, through December 31st, and uh, we have two roller coasters mm -hmm. running, Spinning Dragons and then Prowler. And if you haven't ridden Prowler in the freezing it's cold special. night, it's pretty great, especially at night, it's awesome. Okay, well, I'm definitely gonna check out some of that theme park food, as well as maybe lace up my skates when I come out here. Yes, definitely <laughs> join us. Yeah, Prowler's one of my favorites there. Also to note, the petting zoo is open and you can even take a special selfie just like Chris did. You see, he's with a camel there and that camel loves to pose and sometimes it even sticks out its tongue. Well, check out Winterfest at Worlds of Fun. It's open Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays through the end of the year. It's also open December 23rd, 26th, as well as the 30th and New Year's Eve. For more information, go to worldsoffun.com. Bill, 